hi welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here my name is Mitsuko so today I'll be showing you how to achieve this look I created this look last week on my IG um, and a lot of people liked it so I figured you know I would do a tutorial and show you guys how I did it um, so if you don't follow me on Instagram check me out at, at Mitsuko Pez but anyways let's get started I will be using five shades so I'm using Jasper so what you want to do or what I like to do is um, I always look down when I'm applying um, the shadow on my eyelids so you want to look for um, basically the crack <laughs> the space behind your eyeball so if I'm lightly touching I can feel my eyeball and this is where you know the space is so this is where you will be applying the shade so you always want to pack it here and then lightly bring it towards your inner corner. So I have the shade, I look down, and then I start applying it. So I like to pack it first, which is just lightly dabbing the shade onto my eyelids. See? Okay, I'll take a little bit more. And it's okay if it goes outside you can always clean it up because you have to put foundation anyway and you have to conceal and highlight so don't worry about that you can always clean it up see how most of the shade is here that's exactly what you want so you just put most of it here and then you lightly bring it forward and you don't have to go too high so you want it to be right where, you see, right here. You don't want it to be under, directly under your eyebrow. So I'm just going to put a little bit more just to intensify shade. Okay. So I want most of it here. Same thing on the other side. And always make sure you look back. You always look at the first one just to make sure everything is obviously similar. And take your time to blend because if you want it to be seamless, you have to take your time. So you don't want a lot of this shade in the middle. You just want it to look like an ombre effect just because I'm going to add another shade here and then another one right there. So you want all of them to blend in. Then I like to look straight ahead just to see where I can add more. Okay, I'll just put a little bit there and then you can always go back and add more once you're done but as long as you have a similar base then you're good to go okay so that was Jasper so I'm going in with carnelian so I'm putting carnelian right here So I'm dabbing carnelian because I want to pack that shade. 
and then I'll blend it out. See? And it's fine if it goes a little bit here. You want it to be seamless anyway, so it's fine. It will mix with the other one and then you can blend it out. Morgan looks like. Adding Morgan right here. I'll do the top first and then after I do my concealer I'll add Morgan. There you go. It's like a salmon pink. It's like a peach pink. Okay. Same thing on the other side. You just want to pack it. And I'm going to put citrine right here. Put a little bit too much. Right here. just a dab and I'm putting glory right here right there just to intensify Jasper Okay, citrine, a little bit of citrine. Okay, and I'm doing the same thing. So I'll go in with Jasper and then I'll go in with um, Cornelian. Okay, Cornelian. And I'm going to blend up. I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Whiskey. And I'm just putting that right here. So 
so that is all for today thank you for watching my video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time